Hello and welcome to video 5 of week 11 of the Sound Advanced Topics 2 seminar. <clears throat> I'm Brad. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking about uh, open sound control, which is a protocol that was developed in the music world. Um, and by protocol, I mean it's a way of coding messages that can be sent over the internet. Um, and in this video, I just want to show you the very basics. In the next one, we'll, we'll work up a little app that'll be kind of fun to do. Um, the really cool thing about this is that, you know, we've talked about controllers like the Xbox. And I forgot to mention, um, all the things that happen on the Xbox are pretty much well set for the Vive handsets, too. They just kind of seem to work because they have that X and Y axis built into them. But anyhow, open sound control opens up a whole new world of different controllers, specifically a lot of music controllers. Um, you can configure them to control aspects of a Unity project. And that's pretty cool because there's a lot of music controllers out there. In fact, many of them are even set to just speak natively open sound control commands. So what is this open sound control and uh, how can we use it? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to bring up a little patcher here so I can like type some stuff out. Um, I mentioned it's an internet protocol. So that means that you can use it to connect between two different machines or a single machine. In fact, that's how it's most often used on the internet. Your computer is generally internet happening, even if it's not connected to the internet. Um, what that means is that it uses an IP address, you know, something like this. You've seen these you know, um, to communicate. And the one that's most often used is 127.0.0.1, which is your local address. You can also use a name for this. You can say localhost, and that will basically go to the same address. Okay, the other thing that you have to include in open sound control is you don't realize this, but every service on the internet HTTP demons, email demons, everything have a particular port that they use and you have to specify a port. Now ports down in the hundreds are pretty much reserved for system services um, up through about 5,000 I think. So generally just choose a number randomly above 5,000 you know like 7 not minus 7432 or something like that Remember that number because you'll use it. Obviously, you'll see the number. Um, but that's the port that the open sound control system that you set up will be listening on. And you'll have to connect to that port. What do I mean by that? Well, let's do some listening and connecting here. Let me get rid of this. Um, I'm using Max MSP because it has, it's, it's kind of well set up for doing OSC type stuff, but it's a PD, any of these others you can use. Um, you can write your own wrapper. We have a uh, OSC happening in RTC mix. One of my students is working on it now, um, but it's not completed yet, but we'll just use this for fun. Let's suppose we have some numbers that we want to send somewhere. And to do that, I can say UDP send, it's an object. And I give it an internet address. We can say localhost. And I'll give it a port. We'll just say 5534, just for fun. Okay. What UDP send does is it sends out what's called a universal datagram packet. Um, yeah. As opposed to TCP, which is a transfer control. Uh, anyhow, you don't need to know that stuff. But basically, it's going to take any number coming in, package it up using the OSC protocol, and send it out into the wide internet to look for local host and look for port 5534. What we can do is set up a UDP receive for okay, port 5534. Okay, and we can then print out what's coming into it. So now that connection is established. And notice that as I move one, it moves the other. So this is sending stuff to open sound, uh, over open sound control to that one. We're going to take that one out and replace it with the receiver inside Unity. Now, one other thing I need to mention about open sound control, okay? And uh, let me bring up that comment thing again. And I wanted to make it big uh, so you can read it a little bit better. Let's do that. Um, open sound control also structures the data. Okay. And hold on a half second. Yeah. Um, a lot of times you'll see messages that say like um, FM, 
val and then a number okay this here is the way that you can structure open sound control packets now internally it converts it to this you know binary format but on the receiving end you can look for that particular message and strip it off and then get that number from it and you can you can you can uh, hierarchicalize this you can say fm val slash carrier or something like that you know and again you can make these up um, so it's a way of adding a layer of abstraction to any of the packages packets that you're going to be sending okay well let's just keep this guy here i'm going to get rid of him because we're not going to use him as a receiver and i'll put this away for now and let's bring up a unity project and configure it to receive open sound control messages uh, hang on a half second here now what you're going to need to get is this unity open sound control master uh, the link is on the web page um, but basically there's some unity projects there showing how it works there's a max patch you can see um, all kinds of stuff um, the thing you're going to want to get from it is way down here is this osc.c sharp script it's set up very similar to rtc mix in that you've got a script that lives on an object that you access and um that does your work for you and i will put that osc.cs um, file on the web page so that you can load it in that's the only thing you're going to need well what do i mean by that well let's set it up okay first thing you're going to do is create a um an empty game object okay and we're going to call this game object osc okay then we're going to bring that script the osc.cs script just into our assets and we're going to attach it to that osc oh it's still compiling all right get compiled okay we're going to attach it to that osc game object now notice once we do it it gives us some things the port the out port and the out IP. This is, you can actually send OSC messages from within Unity out to the outside world. And notice that's at localhost, okay? Well, let's set the port. I'm gonna use a fun or number. Um, let me use, say, 7788, because that sounds pretty lucky to me, okay? And let's now set our input port to be 7788. That is now what Open Sound Control is listening to. Um, and in fact, you could probably send it now. What we need to do is set up another script that will do the receiving of the messages and um, uh, translate them so we can see it. So let's create another game object, okay? Create, it'll be an empty object because we're not actually doing anything with it. Okay, and we'll call it OSC Receiver, okay? And let's, um, let's, uh, let's put a script on that. We're going to build this up by hand here. Call it new script, and we'll say OSC receiver is going to be the name of our script. Create an ad. Let's go ahead and bring that up, and we're going to fill that script in. Okay, so we get our basic stuff here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called OSC. It's going to hold a reference to our OSC object with all the stuff on it that we need. Okay, and then in the awake method, private void awake. Okay, we're going to find that. So we'll say OSC equals game object dot find. We're looking for that OSC object and we're going to get the component. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Get component. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I need to put a parentheses there. Whoa. Sorry about that. Let me get this going again. Get component. There it is. Okay, get component. Uh, do, 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 do. And the component we're going to get is that script OSC. Okay, so now that's going to allow us to employ the OSC functionality. All right. So what we need to do 
is to create functions that will handle the OSC messages that are coming in. And we do that in our start method. And the way we do that is we say OSC.set address handler or set message handler. No, set address handler, I guess, okay? And what we do then is say, what are we going to look for? Well, let's look for things that are called slash nums. That's that OSC kind of uh, data structuring thing. And we'll create a function called get num that will do the handling of when it finds this. So now we have to create that function. We're going to do that down here. We're just going to say void get num. And it's going to get one thing in it. It's going to get a C an OSC message. And the message that we'll get, we'll just say is a message. Okay. So here's what we've done. We've created a thing that will, when it sees that kind of OSC message coming in, will call that function with the value associated with that message. All right. How do we extract that value? We can say float x equals message dot get float zero the zero is that we can actually have like an array of values coming after this slash num message and we can say get float zero get float one get float two if we want to we're going to going to send one message in this case all right and let's print it out debug dot log x um, there's also get int, get string. There's other kinds of messages, of course, that you can have. Um, but guess what? We're done. We've found the OSC object. We've set our address handler for this. When we get it, we're going to print out the message. Let's go back to here. Let it compile. We're going to look at our console. Now let's go back to our max patch that's sending that out. And the thing we have to do is now prepend that with a num dollar one. Oops, got to be slash num. Uh, slash num dollar one. So just for fun, let's print that out to show you what it looks like. Yeah, let's get rid of these fonts here. So basically, notice that in our message it says slash num 59 slash num 56. That's the format that we want it to come in to Unity. Okay? So we'll put this guy over here, start up our game. We'll go back to max MSP. And now watch down in the console area as I send it numbers. There they are. So that's how you send values from outside Unity into Unity using this OSC system. And the next project we'll take a look at uh, takes advantage of that. So give it a watch.